Today we're talking all about Pilates and I'll tell you how I first got started and why I fell in love with it. Here we go. So today I want to talk about Pilates. I get asked a lot, what is Pilates? What do I do in Pilates? Why do I need Pilates? How could I benefit from Pilates? So I want to address some of those things, but I really want to dive into how I first got started in Pilates, why I fell in love with it and how it served me so that you maybe can relate and see how it might serve you as well. So first off, Pilates is a certain type of movement and exercise modality. It was invented by Joseph Pilates over a hundred years ago in the early 1900s. So he actually developed this type of exercise when he was in a prison camp in World War I. He started moving his body in a certain way and he started using this with other prisoners in the prison camp and he found that it was helping many of them stay healthy in a very unhealthy environment. He called it Contrology or the study of control. He then came over to the United States with his wife. They ended up in New York, opened the first Pilates studio. The rest is history, but it was developed by Joseph Pilates and it was a very specific set of exercises done either on the mat or on specialized Pilates equipment, typically reformers, trapeze tables, and then also the Pilates chair. So there's other equipment involved, but those are the main pieces of equipment you would find now if you went into a Pilates studio. So what happened is he taught certain people how to do Pilates, his specific method. Those people taught other people who taught other people. And that brings us to the present day. So when you are looking for Pilates exercises, you have a lot to choose from nowadays. So you can go into a studio, you could have one-on-one -on -one sessions, you could do it on the mat, you could do group classes either on the mat or on the reformer. So one thing to choose is if you want to work on the mat or on the equipment, you'll choose whether you want a group class or one-on-one -on -one instruction. And then you can also choose if you want to be in a gym or a studio, or if you wanna do it at home. So I'll tell you how I got involved in Pilates and how it brought me now to teaching you at home. So I became a physical therapist in the year 2000. I graduated from PT school. I started my work in an orthopedic outpatient clinic. And within the first year, my boss came in and he said, hey, we are bringing these things called reformers into each studio and each, into each clinic. Who wants to be trained? And my arm shot up. Now, I did not know what Pilates was. I really had no idea. I just knew if they were going to help me learn another tool to help my clients and patients, I was all in. So the reformers came in, I got on the reformer for the very first time and I will never forget that moment and how it made my body feel. So I had been a soccer player my whole life. I just felt like my legs, if nothing else, were going to be strong and I was shaking. It was making me work in a different way than I had ever been exposed to before and I fell in love. So within the next year, I had gone through my own comprehensive teacher training to become a Pilates teacher. And I started using it not only on myself, but really with my patients in physical therapy. And I was finding amazing results when I was bringing these Pilates principles to the clients I was working with. So that was the first thing that was really eye-opening for me. Then the second thing came when I was diagnosed with endometriosis after my first surgery in 2005. And I realized that exercise and movement was going to be a very important part of my healing and managing my own pain and my own chronic condition. And Pilates became imperative to that. I now consider Pilates to be the heart and soul of everything else I do. And if you have followed me here for a while, you know I do a lot. I'm gonna teach you how to lift weights safely. I wanna teach you how to do some bar. I'm gonna teach you mobility and stretching and things about injuries and posture. A lot of things so that I can keep you functional and keep you strong at home and in your life. I wanna help you reach your goals. But I will say Pilates is the foundation of all of that. I have found it in my own life to be the thing that carries me through everything, through three major surgeries, including a hysterectomy and prolapse repair, 
two pregnancies, two births, two postpartum recoveries, prolapse, infertility, a lot of things that I've been through, even through the pandemic and feeling a lot of difficulty knowing how to move my body outside of the house, Pilates served me through all of it. My mat served me. No matter what season of life I was in, I could get down on my mat and feel like I could move, feel empowered, and feel my mood lifting. And that's what Pilates ultimately does. Pilates is going to help serve you and it helps make you better at everything else you do. As a physical therapist, that's how I use it for my clients. So yes, you will hear that Pilates will tone your muscles and it works your core and all of those great things, and it does do that. But I will say from a personal standpoint, from a physical therapy standpoint, Pilates is gonna help you feel confidence in your body and how you control how your body moves. It's gonna help you feel safe and strong in your body again. Pilates helped me feel that control and feel safe and strong in my body so that then I felt super comfortable starting to learn how to lift weights. I decided to try some yoga and the only reason I could do that safely was because of the strength I developed in Pilates first. So I can go do these other things and Pilates is the foundation and the base of it. So even though you're gonna find different instructors out there, right? There's thousands of different Pilates instructors teaching Pilates in many, many different ways. So I won't get into all of the different types of Pilates out there. The one thing I do wanna recommend when you're looking for someone to help teach you Pilates is that they are from a very comprehensive teacher training program. That means over 500 hours of learning how to be a Pilates teacher on the mat and on the equipment. If you can even find someone who's a physical therapist as well, that's a great combination. I don't think it's necessary, but if you have injuries and really specific needs, that's a great combination to find. But find someone that's comprehensively trained Again, over 500 hours, the program is intense. And then also find someone who encourages and empowers you. I never want you to feel defeated or discouraged anywhere you are. So whether you're seeing someone in person or whether you're on your mat in your living room right now at home, I want you to feel encouraged. I want you to always feel like you have options and variations and modifications for you and your needs. And you should feel like it lifts you up and makes you feel stronger. And again, more confident in the body that you have. And then let's cover some common principles that you will find in Pilates itself. So what makes it a little bit different, whether you're on the mat or on the equipment doing Pilates, there are some principles that kind of cover all areas. One is breathing. We do talk about breathing a lot. You'll hear me say, I don't want you to get caught up on inhaling at the right time or exhaling at the right time. That's not my concern so much as that you are breathing. Joseph Pilates really considered the breath to be an integral part of our movement and how we help our circulation and how we help how we really present ourselves in the world. Breathing is key to that. So it's more that I want to help you find that breath, find full breaths, find a breathing pattern so you're not holding your breath. And then the breathing comes into really actually helping your mid spine move correctly. So breathing is typically a big foundation principle that you'll find in all Pilates. Another principle is lengthening. Now, I don't want you to think that we're here to make you longer than you are, taller than you are. I can't do that. But what Pilates can do and just learning how to use your body is thinking of creating space. That's how I think of that lengthening kind of concept is when I have you use your arm, can you then create some space from your ear to your shoulder? Can you create some space from your hips to your ribs? So instead of sitting like this, you're actually maybe sitting up a little bit taller. That's to me that lengthening principle is how can we create space to use our joints and our muscles the most effectively and efficiently. Another principle that you'll find in Pilates is something called disassociation. That simply means we're gonna learn how to move either the arm or the leg without everything else moving too. So can we separate that hip joint? Can we separate that shoulder joint and let them move independently? 
And then you'll also find something called articulation, which is moving one vertebrae at a time in the spine. That's a big one you'll see in Pilates movements. It's a great way, and one of my favorite principles and parts about Pilates is that it's such a healthy, great way to get your spine moving in many different directions, which our spines were meant to do. We don't do it enough in life. We're hunched over computers and cars and all of these things. Our spines are meant to move and Pilates is gonna help you do that. And then it's gonna give you control and strength in all of those areas. And again, it helps you do that in a really safe way. So that gives you an idea about why I love Pilates so much, how I use it myself in my own life and with my clients. You have lots of ways to get started. So I'll put some resources below, including things like myths about Pilates if you wanna check those out, or my tips for beginners and how to get into classes or how to get started at home on your own. And then the best place to start is with some of my beginner workouts. They are really meant for anyone coming back to fitness for the first time, returning from an injury, or just wanting to see what Pilates is about. So find what's right for you. Again, check out those resources and I will see you again soon.